Today I will be showing you how to create this easy scroll animation with your photos for a reel or even you can do it on a bigger platform. So let's head over to Canva and create one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to elements and grab me a rounded corner square. Now I want my corners a little more rounded. You can keep them square, rounded, however you want to do it. It is your design and you are the designer. So what I want to do now is I'm going to shrink it down a little bit and I'm going to put one side by side with the spacing that I want in between them. Then I'm going to highlight them and then I'm going to fill them just to get work on my spacing correctly. Then what I want to do now is I'm going to take the other one that I made and I'm going to go underneath, get my spacing this way that I want. I like that there. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to group these. I'm going to duplicate. So, and then I'm going to add me another section here. Group. Now I have two sections and then what I want to do is duplicate again and make me eight all the way through. So I'm going to go and line those up, get my spacing and then go and then I'm going to group. So now that I have them spaced like I want, I'm going to duplicate that and make my second set over here. Now we're going to put, start applying pictures. So you want to have like what I call filler pictures, maybe at the top and the bottom and then your main pictures in the center of your row. So I call them filler pictures because you don't want to start all the way down here and have blank space. You want something up here or down at the bottom to start your flow with. You don't want to start with blank space. So you need some filler pictures at the top. Maybe something going along with your theme or just pictures or a duplicate picture of something you have in the center. Any way you want to do it. So I'm just going to go into Elements. I'm going to go into photos and grab whatever photos I can see because we're just making this. So I'm going to start filling in my photos. So I'm going to go here, 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 here. Let's just grab photos as we go here. Some skitty. Some clothes. Uh, let's keep going. What else have we got? Some flowers. This is going to be a very much of a hodgepodge. So now I got that one filled. I'm going to go some marbles. She's eating. I don't know what she's eating. Um, just keep going down and get pictures. Of course, y'all are not going to do random pictures. Y'all are going to do whatever pictures that are you, you're focusing on for your animation. And... Let's grab one more We're down here. I think that's all of them. All right. So now that we have that, I'm going to set my background color to black. And then I am going to, I want this one here going up. You can do it either way. You can have it going up, going down. But if you're going up, what you want to do now is you want to start like, like halfway through this one. That's why I say you want to fill our picture. And then this one's going to go this away so we want to get to the bottom here and put this one halfway as, like halfway down as a filler picture. Now we are ready to animate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here. I'm going to grab it by position. So I'm going to go into layers. I'm going to make sure that is highlighted so it's highlighting the whole thing. Then I'm going to go into animate and I'm going to click my bumblebee over here. I'm going to hold down my shift key to help me stay steady and straight. So what I'm going to do is start dragging this upward like so. And then I'm going to look at my drag. I always put these on steady because I am not steady. And then once I got that one the way I like it, what I'm going to do is go back into position. I am going to grab the second one, hit animate, hit my little bumblebee over here. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to go downward. Okay, now I have them moving both ways. I'm going to go steady. Now this is only five seconds, so you might want to go slower, faster, however you want to do it. So I'm going to pull this out to about 15 seconds, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you watch any kind of animation when it comes to using the bumblebee, the animate, and the bumblebee, the animation will stop. So you want to be able to trim the end off of this 
when you go put it on Instagram or whatever, you're going to edit it and cut the end piece off where it just stops and goes stagnant. Or if you're doing it in Canva, you're going to download it and bring it back in and cut it off. But I'm going to show you that in a second. So now that I have that here, what I want to do is I want to go and look at my animation. Okay, I think for me that's going a little too fast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into position. I'm going to grab this one, go into my custom, and I'm going to slow it down because I want it to go slower. So I like that speed there. So I'm going to go back into position. I'm going to grab my other one. I'm going back into custom, and I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to try to get my speeds matched up. So I'm going to watch them and see if I like my speeds going on both of them. And once I got my speeds matched the way I like them, you can do what I did here. You can go ahead and put a little like little banner with a search bar in it. Elements, 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 elements. Here we go. We just need a another rounded square. And come on, give me the square, baby. If you hear weird noises, it's my dog moving. So what I did there was made that black. Stretched it out. Rounded the corners really well. Made it small. Keep rounding. Keep rounding. Till it looks like a little search thing. Then I went to elements. I grabbed, I think, we grabbed a little search icon. So what I want to do is turn that white. Reduce that. Put it on the inside. And then you can get some text. Just a little bit of text. Ooh, not that way though. And say... Blog. Change that to white. Alright, come on, change it to white. White. And then put it in. And then I, you can put a little bit of a white border on that. So I did the border at 5. And then we're going to change the border color to white. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into position real quick. I'm going to grab those three. So I'm going to highlight the vlog. Hit, hold my control key. Hold uh, and get these two pieces right here. So that highlights all three. And then I'm going to move that more down to the center. And then what I'm going to do is watch my animation. So I'm going to watch my animation. And you're, you're going to see that halfway through it'll stop. And that's when the animation is done. So you have stopping points where it stops. So what you want to do, and I'm going to pull in the one that I used earlier. Let's go to my uploads um, video. Let's grab the one I did earlier and put that in there. We're going to set that to the background. Place the background. So this one was 15.2 seconds, but if we watch it and see the animation, it stops here. So what I want to do is right before it stops and goes stagnant, what I want to do is trim that off. So you can do that a lot in Instagram and Facebook. You can trim it down. You can just go ahead and trim it there. Or if you come back in Canva, you're going to download it as MP4. Bring it back in. And if you want to do some other things to it, what you want to do is kind of cut it before it stops. So you'll split the page and you'll just go ahead and delete this part. And that will give you the whole animation without it stopping. And that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. Once you get it down, you can do it really, really quickly. And because these are frames, all you have to do is kind of change these out. Um, somebody had asked before, so I'm going to duplicate this. So somebody had asked in a Facebook group that they had gotten a thing off of Etsy before and had to change these out. So say you're using this as a template and you want to change these out. You could go ahead and highlight this stuff, reduce it down like this, and make this thing like teeny teeny and try to change these out without kind of screwing up the animation but so much. But I don't think that's, I mean, I think they're just too small. I think it's easier just to go ahead and make your own real quick. It's simple, simple, simple to do. And, I mean, I know people pay to do that. But you can do it that small like that, and then you can just go over and to your um, projects, I mean, your uploads, wherever you're getting your photos from, 
and just like drag new photos in there. So I can go drag new photos in there and change the photos out. And then when you're cha done changing the photos out, you can go and expand it back like it was till it fills back up. And then we'll make it bigger. And then now you have the same thing with your animation with different photos in there. So that's the way you do it. If you kind of bought something off of Etsy or from a template from somebody else, you're just going to reduce it down, change out the photos that way. Um, yeah, and that's all. And I hope you have fun making these. I like to see some around in the Facebook groups, popping up on there if you're around. Thanks for stopping by. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.